Peace and blessings, everyone. I am finally back with a new true crime and tarot reading. And yes, I miss you guys. Yes, I miss doing these readings, but I've been going back and forth with what reading should I do? I was supposed to do another reading of another um, situation that happened, but I changed my mind. I wasn't led to do that anymore. But then the series of Selena came out. And when I say I watched all the episodes and I was just so filled with emotion, um, I cried throughout the series and I just felt the need to want to tap into Selena's energy and see what happened. Now, we do know what happened throughout Selena's childhood and all of that. We're not going to look into that. The part I want to look into is the part of her relationship with Yolanda, and also what happened in the hotel room. Because we all know that we don't have any other accounts of what happened in the hotel room. We only have what Yolanda says happened. Nobody else was there, okay? We speculate, people assume what have happened, um, and all of that. But we want to see, I want to see, and share with you guys, and also what Selena wants everybody to know about what actually happened in that hotel room. I'm also going to touch on uh, Yolanda's shadow self, um, the dark side of her, what's in her personality, what's what's going on with her inside of her, her, her soul. And um, also, I'm going to see what messages she may have for her family, her husband, Chris, and also for you guys, okay? So, let's get to the reading. Okay, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and use the Shadow Oracle deck, and we are going to look into uh, the soul of Yolanda. What is going on with her inwardly? We all can tell something is mentally off with her. She's a psychopath. She's a sociopath. I really believe she's actually a sociopath mixed with some other things. Something is terribly wrong with her mentally, but I want to see what spirit shows us about her. All right, so we're going to use the Shadow Oracle deck for that. Okay, spirit, show me the true soul of Yolanda, her shadow self. All right, let's codependency, health, freedom. Sexuality, unity, herbal healing. All right, so we are going to look into these cards that I have set out already. I may pull out some more cards, but these are what we have so far. Okay, so overall energy, codependency. She has a problem with codependency. Before she met Selena, I feel like she has done this before, like been like really obsessive, um, following people, stalking people. So Selena is not the first person she has done this to. She has a serious issue with codependency. Whoever she likes or she's gravitated towards, she latches onto them for dear life. So she, she, she doesn't have an identity of her own. So whomever she's around or she be friends, she lives through them. She lives vicariously through them. She's dependent on her happiness, her sadness, her anger. Everything about her revolves around that person. So she is extremely codependent. This is the first card that came out. So this is the overall energy of Yolanda, okay? The second card we have is health. But this also has to do with her mental health. Okay, she's dealing with a lot of mental issues, which we know. So these cards, spirit is validating some things we already know. Okay, so this is what spirit is saying with this card. She is dealing with a lot as far as her health, especially her mental health. Like I said, she is a sociopath. So this is kind of validating. Yes, she has health issues, mental health issues. Okay, the next card we have is freedom. I feel like this is revolving her mental health like she's trapped in her mind like she has she she's she's in prison in her own mind and also i feel like this means she's trapped inside her own little world as well like i don't think she was much of a person who um uh, 
had many friends or went out a lot. We started in a series. Like, she seemed like she was very introverted. Um, she was by herself a lot. So, you know, she didn't have the freedom and, and did the things that normal people did. Okay, so she was very introvert, a hermit type person. Um, she needed to free herself um, from being that way because that did not help her mental health. But, you know, she didn't get the help that she needed. So she was entrapped within herself mentally and physically, okay? So this kind of made her the antisocial person that she was. She didn't know how to communicate with people. She didn't know how to talk to people. She didn't know what was appropriate and was not appropriate because she she just wasn't a, a, a sociable person. So she was very antisocial um, and this did not help how people perceived her outside of her home, outside of uh, herself, like work, just being around people in general, okay? So this is what she was battling. But this surprised me, this card right here, sexuality. She was either a lesbian or bisexual, okay? So she struggled with that. Okay, so this is a problem with Yolanda. She's been dealing with her entire life. Well, people was wondering if she was in love with Selena. And I think it was mentioned many times about sexuality. So this card is validating that, yes, she was either bisexual or lesbian. She was totally in love with Selena. So spirit is validating this. Y'all saw me shuffle these cards. And this is the cards that came out. So, yes, this is an issue. She was totally in love with Selena. So she had a lot of lesbian fantasies and thoughts towards selena so her relationship with selena wasn't just her friendship she looked at selena as somebody that she can be sexual with she probably had a lot of sexual dreams and fantasies about being with selena so that's why she became so possessive over her because she didn't look at selena as her friend she looked at selena as her woman i saw an interview where she said that uh, selena was like a daughter to her and selena called her mom as bull she looked at Selena as a, a sexual partner, someone she could be in a relationship with. And spirit is calling it out. You're lying. Your sexuality was part of this. You were in love with her. You wanted to sleep with her. You wanted to be in a relationship with her. And it aggravated you. It angered you that you knew you could never have her in that way. You hated that Chris had her and was her husband. You want to be her husband or her wife. All right. So the next card we have is unity and herbal healing. For her, she wanted to be a part of her world. That's what this card is saying as far as Selena. She wanted to be a part of Selena's world. So that is validating. Yes, they treated her as family. Um, Selena was very welcoming to everybody. So this is what she wanted. She always wanted to be a part of something. She always wanted to be a part of something big. Even before she met Selena, Selena was her ticket to be part of something big. Remember, she's an introvert. So... It's like a love of scorn type deal. Like saying, if I can't have you, no one will. This is true, okay? Because she saw Selena as not just her her best friend. She saw Selena as her partner in her own warped mind, okay? So this is what the Shadow Oracle is telling us about Yolanda. I'm not going to dwell on it anymore. I'm not going to pull any more cards regarding her shadow side. We're going to move on to Tarot. All right, you guys, I pulled on my tarot deck because this portion of the reading, I am going to talk about that day. That day Selena went to the hotel room with Yolanda and what actually happened in that hotel room, okay? She's telling people that Selena was begging her to stay and she was telling Selena no and telling Selena to get out. We all know that's most likely bullshit. Okay, Selena, use me on today. All right, Selena, show us what happened in the hotel room with you and Yolanda. All right, let's see what cards come up. The world, the tower, justice, Sh 
strength. All right, so these are the first set of cards I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull more. Okay, so the first card we have here is the world card. And this card signifies the end of a cycle. This card signifies an end of a cycle. So we know Selena was going there to end her relationship with Yolanda. So this is what this card is verifying. Just ending the total relationship, um, business-wise, personal-wise, all of that, okay? So this is why she went to the hotel room. So Spirit is validating that for us, all right? Now, the next card we have is the tower. She just wanted to end all the drama, all the negativity, everything surrounding Yolanda. This also verifies the attack on her, okay? You see with the tower card, this person has a stick or some type of rod and is about to attack attack the people here sitting here this also validates that yolanda's main purpose of going into their hotel room was to attack selena to hurt her okay to end her all right we have the chariot card here which means that this was the act that she put together as soon as she was discovered as soon as abraham found out what she was doing and he was going to let her go i feel if she could have got to abraham and killed him she would have done that too so everything was pre-planned premeditated okay the next card we have is the justice card and it's exactly what the card says. She felt like she was getting justice for how she was being treated. She felt like this is what they deserve for accusing her. She felt like she changed her whole life for Selena. And they are going to pay for her uh, quitting her nursing career. Putting her supposed life on hold to do everything for Selena, everything for the brand. So she felt like this was her justice. She's like, okay, y'all going to accuse me. Y'all going to, um, even though we know she stole that money. But in her mind, she, she doesn't feel like she did anything wrong. Even though she did actually do it. So she felt like since y'all accused me, y'all won't fire me. I'm going to get my own justice. I am going to take matters into my own hands and deal with you. Since you want to ruin my life, I'm going to take yours. All right. Then we have the Ace of Wands and the Strength card. Both of these represent fire, okay? So I don't know if somebody was a Leo or have fire in their chart. So this is, this is what this represents as well. The Strength card represents her overpowering Selena. It gave her some type of power over her. It gave her, like she felt like she was better than her in that that moment, she felt like I am on top of the world. You gonna have to listen to me. I don't have to listen to you anymore because I have the power. I have the gun. So this is what the strength card represents for her. Her having that weapon gave her some type of superiority over Selena. Okay, so when she was in the hotel room, she felt as if she was the queen and selena was her peasant and you are now going to serve me you're going to do what i'm telling you to do because now i have the upper hand i have the power okay so this is what these cards mean all right let's see what other cards come up show me selena what else you want us to know about what happened in that hotel room The seven of wands, two of swords, ten of pentacles, star, six of wands, four of cups. Okay, so we have the seven of wands. Selena wants us to know that she did try to fight her back. She did try to to defend herself in that hotel room with Yolanda. I feel there was a scuffle that happened prior to that shooting, okay? So if that was not said, she is saying, I tried to overcome her before she shot me, okay? We have the two of swords here. The two of swords here. So Selena want us to know, yes, this is what she actually did. This is why she brought me into the hotel room. She brought me into the hotel room to kill me. I don't care what she is saying to you guys. I don't care what she is saying in the media. She brought me to the hotel to kill me. This is what we all know, but Selena is verifying with this card. Yes, this was her motive. Yes, this is what she wanted to do. 
This card also represents that Yolanda wanted Selena to take her side against her father. This also upset Yolanda. Yolanda was pleading with her and saying that it's not the truth. Her father just don't like her, saying stuff like that. And this is what upset her because even though she was saying all of this, Selena wasn't being responsive to her. Selena wasn't believing it. So because Selena was not believing the lies, this is what really upset her in the hotel room. This is what angered her. This is what really set the rage in her. Even though she already knew what she was going to do, she was hoping that Selena would side with her and maybe she would have to do it. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to understand that. I think she wanted to not do it. So she was saying things to get Selena on her side. So if Selena would have buckled down and start believing her, she wouldn't have shot her. But Selena didn't back down. Selena stood firm. I don't want to hear nothing you have to say. I know what you did. I believe my family. I believe my father. I believe what he is saying about you. There's documentation. There's everything saying that you did these things, Yolanda. I don't care. I want to hear what you have to say. Just give me what I need and I'm out of here. So because she did not respond the way she wanted Selena to respond, this also triggered her. But at the same time, she was hoping that Selena would believe her lies that she wouldn't have to kill her. But since Selena didn't, she felt the need to go through with her plan. All right. The Ten of Pentacles and the Star card. This is saying that in that hotel room, Yolanda felt like, okay, if I can't be part of your success, you're not going to have it. If I can't be part of your Ten of Pentacles, if I can't be part of your star, your star power, if I can't be involved in your fame, I'm going to take it away from you. And this is why we have the Six of Wands here. If I can pick it up with these nails. This is her feeling like she... Okay, since you're not going to give me what I need, and if I can't be involved in that, I'm going to take everything from you. Her feeling superior. Her feeling feeling like she the top dog now. So she got some kind of enjoyment out of killing Selena. She liked it. In her dark heart, she enjoyed it. It made her feel superior. It made her feel in control. It made her, she liked the fact that she was in control of somebody's life in death. She may have always wanted to do that. But I also feel, you guys, she used to be a nurse. They need to look into patients that she has taken care of. She may have harmed some people. She may not have kill them but she may have done something to make them sicker somebody who knows her from working in the hospital is watching this they need to look into her past patients because she may have been a person that made people sicker so need to pay attention to that okay she gets off on other people's pain so this is why she was a nurse she liked to see people sick she liked to, even though she probably was given a medicine, she liked to see people in decapitated states. She liked to see blood from people being hurt. She liked to see people sick from cancer. She liked that. She was that sick. She liked to feel like she had somebody's life in her hands. That's why she became a nurse. Because what nurses do? If nurses and doctors aren't there, they're there to help you. So they kind of become a god because they, they're helping you live. If it's not for them, you may die. So this is why she was a nurse. This is what made her become a nurse. It's sick. And spirit is exposing her. It made her feel superior. And when she was in the hotel room with Selena and seeing Selena shot, I'm going to be the reason if you live today or die today. That's what this card is saying. The Four of Cups here is saying that she planned this. So this is all that card is saying. Yes, she planned it. She sat and, and, and premeditated everything. So this is what happened. This is what was going on in this hotel room. This is what Selena wants us to know. So everything she said about um, Selena was begging her and all of that, that is a lie. The Seven of Wands and a few other cards are showing us. No, that's not what it is. Selena went there for what she wanted. She was done with her, okay? But she was upset that Selena was not believing the lies because trust me, as soon as Selena hit that door, she started pleading her case. And Selena was like, no. So that angered her more. But she did have a split second to where she was thinking about not killing her. If Selena would have believed 
her lies. But because Selena didn't believe her lies and Selena was going to leave, she felt she needed to get rid of her problem. She needed to kill her. This is just messed up. This is all around messed up. And Selena didn't need to die. She had her full life ahead of her. Okay, this next portion of the reading is going to be regarding Selena and Chris. I pulled out the Romance Angels deck because I want to see what messages Selena has for Chris. We know that Selena loved Chris. That was her husband. He was her everything. They had their ups and downs like any other couple. But that was her soulmate and she still truly loves this man. Chris is not happy. Okay? I do know he has children and a wife or girlfriend. I don't know if they're married. But I do know he has a whole new life now. But he is still grieving Selena. And it's sad. It is heartbreaking because she was the love of his life. I'm sure he loves the woman that he's with. But he's going to always love her. And he's going to always have a void in his heart. Because he felt like his true soulmate, the person he was supposed to be with, was taken from him. You know, he has moved on, yes. But he is in love with Selena. And Selena is always with him. So it makes it worse because he can feel her. He can feel her because she's not going to let him go because in her mind, that is still her husband. I don't care if he's married again. I don't care if he's had, I don't care if he has children with someone else or how many children he has. That is her husband. And that's how she feels. She's glad that he has moved on, of course, but to her, he is still hers. Okay. But I want to see what messages Selena may have for him with these cards. So let's see. What messages do you have for Chris, Selena? Show us. All right, let's see. Career. Calling your soulmate. Heart to heart conversations. New love. Give your relationship a chance. Wow. Let your friends help you. All right, so we have the cards for Chris with the messages that Selena wants to relate to him. Okay, so the first card we have is finances and career. Selena wants him to know that she loves that he has come into his own as far as his career and his finances getting on track with what he truly wants to do. This is the overall energy. This is one thing that she really wants him to know that she is proud of him. He was struggling to find himself. Even though he was talented and all of that, he wanted to have his own voice. And if you watch the series, you know that he wanted to start his own band, okay? So she is happy that he was able to do that and also just do things that he truly wanted to do and actually find his own voice, find the thing that he always wanted to do. The next card we have is calling in your soulmates. She is recognizing and everybody knows across this world knows that they are soulmates and she feels that he is still her soulmate and she still is with him every day. She is making him sad because he feels her spirit all the time and she doesn't want to let him go. All right. So this is causing a certain sadness because he feels her presence and he can't be with his true soulmate. You know, so Selena is going to have to, and if she's, you know, I'm saying this out loud because I need her to hear this. She's going to have to let him go for him to truly be happy. She's going to have to let him be free to be happy. Okay. So the reason why this is hard for her to do is because he is her soulmate. Okay. Heart to heart conversations. 
All right, so he needs to go and see a therapist. She is saying you need to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with a therapist um, and with his partner. He needs to really open up to the woman he's with now. Okay, so if Crystal happens to see this reading, she's saying don't be stubborn. Go and get help if you need it. If you're having issues, it don't have to be related to her, but whatever issues he's having because he always had a problem with uh, expressing his feelings. She's saying have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It's going to make you feel better. So even if you talk to a, a, a therapist, uh, some friends, even his partner that he's with now, he needs to open up. He needs to open up and express himself more. Okay? The next card is new love. Selena recognizes that Chris has a new love. And this is his partner and also his children. He has children that he loves. He has a partner that he loves. Okay? So she is recognizing, yes, I feel you are my husband. You are still my husband. You are my soulmate. I'm going to always be with you. I'm going to be with you every single day. But I do know and respect that you do have a new love in your life. I do know you have children now. I do know these things, okay? And I respect that. But to me, I am always going to be connected to you. You are always going to be mine because I never got a chance to experience the life that you have now with someone else. So that's another reason why she is still around because she wants to experience having children with him. Even though she can't have children with him physically, her being around him and seeing him interact with his children and being in a relationship with this woman, it makes her feel like it's her. Okay. I also feel that he may even feel like one of his children reminds him of Selena. And it's because Selena is influencing one of his children. If he has daughters, Selena is uh, influencing the daughter. So he might see or hear his daughter may act like Selena may do something that Selena might do or say something Selena might say. And then he may be like, what? Like, think he tripping. He is not tripping. He is not losing his mind. Selena is influencing the, his daughter. And children are very sensitive to the spirit world. And one of his children may be very empathic and may be very open to spirit. And Selena uses her. Okay? So I don't know. This is what I'm picking up. I don't know if somebody can verify this for me. But one of his daughters, one of his daughters do things that remind him of Selena. All right. The next card we have, give your relationship a chance. I told you, he has a hard time opening up. He has a hard time giving himself to his new love because of the love he has for Selena. He may feel like he's cheating on Selena in, in, in a way. He And Selena is saying, it's okay. It is okay. Give that relationship a chance. Be with her like you were with me. I'm okay with that because I'm going to always be around regardless. But it is okay to love this person. It is okay to love them. I'm okay with that. So she's saying, give your relationship a chance. And they may be having marital problems right now. Spirit and Selena is, is making it known. Give your relationship a chance. And I think this series has came out. I think it's really affecting Chris. I don't know if he watched it or not. He may not have even watched it. Because everybody's talking about Selena and talking about him and their relationship that may be affecting his relationship with his current spouse right now. And so this is what Selena is saying. She was like, okay, give your relationship a chance. Work it out with your partner. Talk to someone. Have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And the last card we have is let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Chris is having a hard time, y'all. He's having a hard time right now. And Selena is validating that with these three cards. These three cards. Heart to heart conversation. Give your relationship a chance and let your friends help you. Chris, you need to open up and talk to someone. He is feeling it right now. And Selena is saying, Chris, get the help that you need. Our love, nothing can replace our love. Nothing. I'm sorry I am not there with you physically, but I am there with you 
spiritually, I am always there with you. I'm not letting anybody take me away from you. But I need you to know it is okay for you to move on with your family. It's okay for you to love this new person the way you love me because you're going to always be my husband. I don't care who you're with or how many children you have with someone else. You are always my husband. I'm going to always love you. I'm going to always be there for you. All right, y'all. So that's it. That's the messages she has for Chris. So let's move on to another deck. I want to see what she has for her family. All right. So lastly, we have the Talking to Heaven deck. And I want to see what messages Selena may have for her family and even for her fans. Let's see. Wow. Okay. All right, these are the cards that Selena is using to relate the messages to her family and to her fans. Selena is saying, I see all of your thoughts. Okay, so she knows that you are always thinking about her. This is for her family. Anytime you think about her and remember things from, you know, childhood, just the good times, she sees your thoughts. So don't think because you're thinking she doesn't read your mind. She knows what you're thinking, even if you're not speaking it aloud. So this is what this card is saying. Next card is I feel healthy and happy. She is okay. She is saying, I am okay, I am happy, I am doing great on the other side. So this is for her family as well. She is saying, I am happy, there's no need to worry, no need to think that I may be unhappy or miserable. Even though she missed you guys, she is always with you spiritually. She's always around. She hates that she's not with you guys physically, but she is happy and she is okay. The next card we have is you have nothing to feel guilty about. Wow. This is for her family, including Chris. Do not feel guilty. You have nothing to be guilty about. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. Okay? Everyone did everything they were supposed to do. She was happy. Don't walk around with this guilt. Nobody, that includes her mother, her sister, her brothers, her husband, anybody that was surrounding her, even her father. I think he has passed on, um, but before he passed on, he harbored a lot of guilt too. So the whole entire family, everybody harbored guilt that was associated with her. And she's saying, do not feel guilty. There's nothing to feel guilty about, All right? Next card, the earth is our school. She is recognizing some things that she may have done wrong. Um, she was, you know, you know, she was very open hearted and may have been naive to a lot of things, but she had to go through those things. So she's saying she went through those things to learn from it. And she's saying earth is our school. That is why we are put here. We are here to go through things, to learn things, to uh, figure out ourselves so this is what she's saying she's saying earth is our school you know we have to go through those bumps and bruises a lot of things i could have done differently but it was things happened the way it was supposed to happen but i did learn my lesson especially about being naive uh, when it came to people and their motives all right there's no such thing as death this is validating that she is still around. Her spirit is still around. She is not actually dead. She is still here. She is uh, not here in physical form, but she is here. Her soul is very much alive. And last but not least, it was my time to go. Wow. Even though she had all these plans, even though, you know, we know that she could have been so much bigger than a lot of these artists are. I have been. But she is saying, it was my time to go. 
It was just my time. And even though her life was short, she has influenced millions upon millions of people with her music, her, her art, her clothes. So she left a big legacy in her short time here on earth. So she's saying, it was my time to go. All right? Okay, so I'm going to end this reading. I hope it gave you guys some more insight and validated some things that we may have heard. And Spirit has validated those things through the cards. And Selena has helped us. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. I would love to have you in the Magic Tribe. Also, if you want to purchase any of my decks, the links will be in the description box below. I hate that this happened to Selena. And we all do. But she is saying, I am okay. It was my time to go. And she does not want her family to feel guilty about anything that happened. It's nothing they could have done. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm going to end this reading. I love you all. And until next video, peace and blessings.